What's up, everybody? Blake's back over there. Look. Okay, what's up? It's, uh, it's going to be a short video. Pretty simple. Um, we're going to put a new lock on my big orange tour pack. Because I was too lazy to have it painted this, uh, this winter. Well, I wasn't too lazy. Paint was... I found out paint is expensive for the bikes. So we're gonna put a we're gonna show you how to put a lock on if you ever go buy a tour pack for your motorcycle. And then I'm gonna also show you how to save a little bit of money when you do buy it. So you don't make the same mistake I did. Alright, Blake, open it up. As you can see everybody, bright orange. Well it's not bright orange, it's like whiskey river or whatever. Uh so I bought the tour pack and it only has the lock well he did not have a key but it does not have the guide pin so it'll close correctly so I bought a lock kit so this is what you'll get in your lock kit a new guide plate a new lock a uh, piece that latches in like this and then your various stuff and a new lock when you go oh and uh just just a, just a nut hold the lock in. yeah when you go to Harley, if you buy a tour pack and he does not, the person you buy this from does not have a key, when you, if you go to Harley and you buy all this, tell them, like, I have, I have the nut. Tell them, you don't need the nut. And then unless you need spare keys, don't, bo don't bother getting spare keys. So I've got spare keys now. And now I have six keys that control everything on this bike. This has been keyed to my bike, so it is my, it's the same as my ignition up there. And it's the same as my saddlebags. And if you didn't know, uh, on the fuel doors up there, on all Harley bikes, it all it needs is the barrel key. Like, your key will work in every fuel door. 2013 but. and down. Before they started putting the pop buttons in them. Uh, now I put a pop button in there probably in 2014. So I've had the pop button for a while. So yeah. But anyways, 2013 and basically like all the way to probably before 76 or whenever they started putting locks on their doors. It is all the same key. But yeah, this this these keys was an, an additional $30. So... You know, hey, that, that'll save you. So, it's pretty simple to do this. You're just going to need a pair of pliers to do it. Or a socket. Or a socket. Here, hold oh Blake, you're going to film. Uh, it is a 22 millimeter socket. You know. Pull this out, take this little washer off, and put the little washer on there because I did not see one in the package. I didn't see one fall out either. So when you put it in, yeah, yeah when you put it in, obviously it can only go one direction, but like this, this way, and this up is how you're going to want it. But and then you're going to do that. Drop that down first. And then this is the guide plate. This guide plate sits in just like that. And then you're going to put this washer back on our nut. Sorry, everybody. More than likely, if you get a tour pack from somebody off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or wherever it might have the stuff already his for some odd reason didn't have it so he had to pretty much get all the pieces yeah. but harley sells everything individually so if you don't have or if there are certain pieces you don't need they'll sell you each little piece individually and it makes it cheaper um yeah all right, see if you notice here, he put the flat washer on first, which is that 
it's a locking one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got like a key. Okay. Kind of like a keyway to it of sorts. And the uh, little a star washer. I guess it's like a locking kind of washer. <clears throat> put, Excuse me. Put that. Dang it. And then this. Maybe. Maybes. There we go. There it goes. It likes to bind itself up. And then another locking washer. Oops. I grabbed the wrong socket. There. That'll work. Come on. Get this there. There we go. Snug that up. What size was that? This is a an eleven. Eleven millimeter. And that's it. And put your box down. And then key. This needs to be, you know, open position. Locked. Safe and secure. Ish. Ish. I have Somebody not... could get in that if they wanted to, but... That's for another video. Yeah. So... Another thing I wanted to add is... On your uh, saddlebag lid, let's say you get a, uh, let me zoom out here. Oh. Okay, so get your saddlebag lid. Adam, open that back up. If you, uh, for some reason, you laid your bike down or whatever, and you got a new saddlebag, if you need to replace that lock on there, zoom in here for you. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's two little torques inside there. Right there. You remove those, remove the, point at the nut on there. Yeah, you remove that nut and it'll remove that little arm. The, lo the lock arm. Yeah, and then that lock cylinder will come out. And then uh, you'll be able to order one of those from Harley as well. Yeah, and it'll just come... It just comes back out through the front. And then, you know, you won't need keys. If you do, like Adam said, it's 30 bucks for another uh, set of keys. How many did come in a set? It came, it was four. I don't know why. They, they gave me two new ones with the rubber coating and two, like, really cheap, just straight bare metal ones. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but they did. So, now he's got a whole bunch of extra keys, but yeah, if you need to replace that one, um, pretty simple as well. Um, these buttons, these are pretty cool, because when you get your bike, the last thing you want to do is be digging through your pocket for your keys to get gas, and they're real simple to do. You just undo this nut right here, put your new button in. And, and then they come with this because the key will, you know, it'll have the same deal. So you'll pull your old key lock cylinder out, slide the new button in, put your nut on, and then it'll come with this new plate here that you'll have to replace. So that way it gives it some bounce to get up out of there. So because normally with your old one, you have your key and you grab it and you pull it. So. Those are pretty cool. I think it was, uh, what is 40, that? Twenty dollars now. Is it really forty They're bucks? Up a lot. Wow. But uh, we bought them. We bought these like right after 2014 bikes came out because they came out with these standard, and then they started selling them. And I think we literally bought them like the the very first month they put them on the floor. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I think that pretty much covers all we got for this week sorry it's such a short video we've got some uh my daughter's birthday and stuff to go to so um yeah 
We're trying to come up with videos for you. All right, everybody. That's that's what we got for you this week. So, like Blake said, sorry that it is a short video. Uh, Harley videos are expensive. Don't don't mess with my my telescoping thing. Jesus. Uh, yeah, no, it's a short video. It's it was uh, look. We want to do more Harley videos. They're expensive. Harley videos are expensive. Uh, and not very many people want to see us change our rim. I mean, I'd like to put a new one on it, but that's not happening. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And other than that, uh, on the top right-hand corner, at least on desktop, there's a PayPal button. And uh, we do charity bike rides. Um, if you choose, you'd like to donate to uh, Michael Bergen's Hands for Hearts and uh, like see. Bikers for Babies. Yeah, March of Dimes. Uh, if you donate to that pa PayPal button up top, 100% um, all proceeds go to one of those charities. If you let us know that you donated what you'd like your money to go to, whichever charity, and we'll put it to that. 100% goes to it. Nothing comes to us. So, if you'd like to, let us know. We'll put it to whatever charity you want. Alright, thanks guys. See you next time.